We're learning new details about the police involved shooting that left a 15 year old boy wounded. We're learning the officer who opened fire was involved in another police shooting earlier this year. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at Kendall Regional Medical Center in Southwest Miami Dade with more. Peter. Well, Lauren, we're told that the 15 year old boy who was shot remains in the intensive care unit here at Kendall Regional Medical Center. An attorney for the Miami Dade police officer involved identifies him as 55 year old Ronald Neubauer, a 28 year veteran who was, in fact, involved in another shooting earlier this year that we will show you in just a moment. Now, right now, Miami Dade police say they have a lot of questions about this latest shooting. Miami Dade police rush to the Purple House on the right. At Southwest 301st Street and 146th Avenue. I have a lot of concerns with what happened here so far. Miami Dade Police Director Juan Perez said the guardians of the 15 year old boy called the cops after he refused to take his medication. Relatives of the guardian said he'd only been living here a few short weeks in foster care. I try to talk to him to go to school and do the right thing, but I don't care what you say to him, he's gonna do what he's gonna do. Police say the teen became violent with his guardians, then with the cops. During that physical altercation, one of the officers discharged his firearm one time. That teen was shot in the lower part of his torso and taken to Kendall Regional Medical Center in stable condition. Relatives of the guardians were heartbroken and canceled their Thanksgiving Day plans. We're supposed to meet at my grandmother's house, you know, very in the next few minutes or hours or whatever, but unfortunately the situation is not going to allow it. The attorney for Officer Ronald Neubauer said this was his second shooting this year. You ever been tased? As we see in dash cam video on March 29th, Neubauer was one of two cops who fired at a disoriented a motorist who stole a taser from a cop. That suspect, Jamal Parker, was shot in the legs and faces a trial for felonies, including resisting an officer with violence and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Prosecutors were reviewing Neubauer's role in that case. Now, Officer Neubauer and a supervisor are both suspended pending uh, the investigation. We asked Neubauer's attorney if he could have possibly fired his weapon accidentally. She told me she could not comment because of this ongoing investigation. FDLE is looking into this case, which is standard procedure. Ultimately, the state attorney's office will determine if he was justified in firing his weapon. We're live at Kendall Regional Medical Center. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Lauren.